Congruence Transformations An isometry is a transformation of a figure in the plane that preserves distance between points. The transformations below are all isometries. The pre-image and the image are congruent in each example. If two or more isometries are used in a composition, the result will also be an isometry. A glide reflection is an example. Two plane figures are congruent if and only if there's a sequence of one or more rigid motions that maps one figure onto the other. The composition here maps triangle ABC onto triangle DEF by first translating it and then reflecting it across line M. Since compositions of rigid motions preserve angle measures and distances, the corresponding sides and angles have equal measures. Fill in the blanks below. All right, so we have AB, this length here, which is equal to this length here, which is equal to this length here once you reflect it. So AB equals DE. BC, along the bottom here, is equal to this length there and this length there. So BC equals EF. AC is going to be equal to this AC, A prime, C prime, which is equal to this line here, DF. The measure of angle A is going to be equal to the measure of angle D. The measure of angle B is equal to the measure of angle E once you reflect it across. And then the measure of angle C equals the measure of angle F. Identifying congruence transformations. Because compositions of rigid motions take figures to congruent figures, they are also called congruence transformations, which is another name for isometries. What is the congruence transformation or isometry that maps triangle XYZ to triangle ABC? All right, so if we move this triangle over here, like this, so one, two, three, down, two, one, two, three, like this. So we just translated this triangle over and that translation was one, two, three, four, five, negative five comma zero, because we don't move it up or down, just to the left five units. Then we reflect it over the line y equals zero. So this mapped this triangle to this one. So once you reflect it, we have these corresponding points, and it reflects over like that. Use congruence transformations to verify that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. All right, so over here, first we're gonna translate this triangle down two units. So it's here, here, and here, like this. And we'll write that translation uh, zero comma negative two, because we just moved two units down. Then we're gonna reflect it over the line x equals zero. So Composition, reflect, overline, x equals zero. All right, over here, we have first a rotation, 90 degrees. So that would put it here, here, and here, like this, about. Then we translate it this way, we, uh, to the right one, and then one, two, three, four down. So the first thing was the rotation, uh, 90 degrees about the origin and then we also had a translation to the right one and down four.